First of all, you will need to create a DocuSign API account. Just go to this URL and afterwards just click and get started. Once created the account, you just have to go to the DocuSign login page for the API, introduce your email, hit continue, include your password and access the account. At this point you should go to admin and navigate to integrations API and keys. In this interface now you have to create a new app integration key that we're going to call TX for example and just leave everything as it is you don't really need to change anything just to copy this API integration key that we needed for the configuration within Docspressa. Uh, within your Docspresso instance, just click in the signatures, config is signatures, and click in the DocuSign. Now we have to configure the DocuSign e-signature with the parameters obtained from the DocuSign website. We should in use to start with this URL, that is demo.docusign.net slash REST API, and introduce here the user and password that we use to log into our DocuSign account and the API key that we just generated. When we do that, we just may test the connection and if everything is okay, we will get connection accepted. Now we save the data and we can start working with DocuSign within Docspresso. Uh, we will see later how to move this from uh, the demo mode to production. Okay, you just have to change uh, the URL, but you have to do a few things in uh, your uh, demo DocuSign account. In order to prepare a document so it becomes a DocuSign template that may incorporate the DocuSign signatures, we have, besides inserting the standard uh, Docspresso variables like uh, this one. Introduce some placeholder images where the, we want the signatures to be introduced in the uh, DocuSign signature process. So we set a couple of placeholder images and we have to add some alt test with this structure, okay, uh, where one is the first signature and here too is the second signature. So Docspresso recognizes that they are going to be placeholders for DocuSign. Okay, so if I just say fail save and go I may upload it to Docspresso and uh, Docspresso as always uh, converts this uh, word template into a web page now I can make a save template here uh, agreement and I'm going to save it in I don't know tests for example. Well now we have already our Docspresso template prepared and if we go to here to edit we can just go where the placeholders images were, click on them. In particular we can associate template variables to variables that DocuSign is going to ask, like the name of the person that is signing and the email. So we can go here and associate to this signature one. We can change the name, but that's not required. For example, the name of the client and the email, the email of the client, and save. And here, the name of the provider and the email of the provider. The other variables are not required for DocuSign. You can introduce them uh, so you keep uh, track of the info, but they are not required. The assigned provider that we have predefined is DocuSign, and here we can introduce uh, 
the subject and the message that is going to be sent together with the DocuSign signature email. There we can uh, also parameterize noti uh, notifications and more things, but well, we won't do it now. Save changes, and now I'm going to save and preview this contract. Okay. Well, now of course, normally you will send this to the person that has to sign it first, to or just the person that is filling the data within the contract. So you will have to hear the date, okay, today, maybe the client uh, company here, well, whatever, okay. The important thing is that you will certainly need, at least for the signature process, to introduce here the name of the client. This is my client, and here the provider will be Docspresso. And here we will put some uh, email myclient.com and here say Eduardo com. Okay, and we just hit the send button and like we are in the back office, we will be redirected to the page where we can really request the signature. As you see here, this information is prefilled because we have put it in the in the template, okay? And as you see also the email subject, but you can overwrite this, okay? At this point, you will just hit request signatures and this will be sent via the API to DocuSign and the standard DocuSign signature process will be launched. And you can also launch this process at any time if you go here to data management, let's say browse data, and we have here the data of this agreement here, and we can go here. As you will see uh, here, well, I have more than one signature provided parameterized, but in particular at any time from here you will be able to click on DocuSign and access the same interface and you will be able to preview the document that is going to be signed here, etc. Okay, so this process can be launched at a later time or as I said before in a predefined manner. As you remember we were using a DocuSign demo account so before going live we have to do something else. So you can go to your DocuSign page and click like before within the API and keys integrations menu option in the go live process. Here it will explain what you have to do but basically you have to do a few transactions with Docspresso before this uh, demo account can be uh, moved to a live account. Okay. And whenever you do so, and after you receive approval from DocuSign, you just have to go to Docspresso and remember to change the URL so you are using the production URL that has here www. And that's all.